And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Let's roll. Up at 3.45 a.m., cardio by 4.45 a.m., hitting the iron by 6.15 a.m., in my pickup truck by 7.15 a.m., heading to work, ready to get after it. Ready Why you started. All you can think about is what's in front of you right now. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Oh, fuck. And it gets pretty hard. You're like, fuck, this is going to be really hard. And you start to grind it out. And then all of a sudden, things start to click. Come to save your gains. Yo, hey, what's happening out there in gains land? It's with a Z. So, man, I'm headed home from work. Had a little few extra minutes. And I was uh, conversating with a young researcher, a young female bunny rabbit, man. And she had a, you know, she asked me about something. And I've been hesitant to do this or put this out there. But, um, yeah. So. How are my clients, my female rabbits, test bunnies, gorillas, pink buffalo, making so much gains on these them, them SARMs? Now, what I'm saying, take it with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? Do not take this as the truth. I'm lying. Per YouTube. Gotta say that. Entertainment purpose only, but if you're researching, pay attention. How are my female rabbits making so much gains? Well, first of all, the female receptor loves, adores, gives up the booty, man. One night calls, man, to SARMs. Uh-oh, about to do this. Oh, can I do this? It's illegal driving. I'm in Sunnyvale. Black man. Might get arrested. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. They love SARMs. They suck it up, man. With little to zero side effects. So what am I saying? Hair loss? Don't worry about it. Uh, suppression? Never happens. Conversion to estrogen? No. Doesn't happen. So what this allows them to do is, is that they don't stick to what's necessarily a woman dosage when running these cycles. Now, what does that mean? Okay, well, you said we take something like a LGD-3303. Powerful selective editor receptor module. We'll put on mass. For a guy, we say, you know, 20, 30 milligrams a day will get you a buff, my brother. And women, we usually say a uh, 5 milligrams. Well, why? Is it because they're female? Isn't the reason a female owns these or researching with these is to make gains? So why not run a female at 15, 20 milligrams? Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Why? Why is that too much? Is not her receptor the same as a male receptor? Now, not true. The DNH, no DNH, the, um, her DNA structure and everything, her, her muscle makeup is different, but the same motherfucking systems in place to where she can get them games. Can a woman not get games from lifting weights? So why does a woman have to be limited when she has zero none the side effects to such a small dosage making them limited gains? I say she don't. So S23 is one. Now, S23 is a very a very harsh SARM when it comes to male researchers because it's suppressive. It also can attach a little to your DHL and make a hair loss. But a woman ain't got to worry about that, man. But yet again, we tell them to run such small dosages that, yes, they see gains, but are they seeing the optimal? Uh-oh. One second. All right, man. I got sidetracked here. But I'm saying, so why shouldn't... I think it's where I left off. Anyway. One second. Why shouldn't a woman use a higher dosage. Now, I have some women. Now, I, I've told you guys about different cycles and stuff, but I've been hesitant because, you know, necessarily what, you know, what I run for my clients, not necessarily what I say on YouTube, because first of all, you got trolls, and YouTube doesn't like us giving out dosages, and they say, you know, it's a drug use, blah, 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 blah. I say for research purpose only, they tend to give me five. Anyway, so... I think for women, especially now it's getting close to 
close to the summer, if you're serious about getting them gains, I mean, if you're serious about getting that booty to pop, them breasts to top, and the men to stop, you feel me? If you're really serious, I give you some insight on what we're running as a company with our clients that is showing them type of gains that make traffic stop, that make hearts stop, that make booty pops, that women got to stop because if they don't, they break their necks. It's something to be said. Now, for you guys out there, man, don't hit me up saying you're running 100 milligrams of LGDD and all that. Because you're going to kill yourself, man. Too much. Look, look, check this out. SARMs ain't never killed a nigga. Oh, excuse me. SARMs ain't never killed anybody. But I read about people having some side effects for running some crazy-ass dosages, man. Because it's an experimental substance. Right? But for women... We have yet to touch on the possible gains from this substance because we're so shy because they're feminine, because they're female, because we got to give them little, 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 you know, little, little oh shit, I'm getting this trap. Ooh, whoa, hold on, hold on. We got to give them the little punks dosages. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm finna cut traffic. Hold on a minute. Females can get them gains like males, and they can definitely make gains at a higher dosage. And get away with it. Now I'm trying to cut in traffic here. So if I go, if I get an accident, I'm gonna go viral. I'm gonna get some hits. But anyway, so if you interested, man, the current cycle I have for my females, they're running some LGD 3303 and some SR 9009. And I'm telling you, man, I'm turning housewives into strippers. When I say strippers, I mean they got booty and hips and thighs and ooh wee. I mean women are going shopping. They buying new clothes. Their waist is getting too small for the hip ratio to the butt. I mean you really can't increase the boobs. I mean either you got them or you don't. We can firm them up, but if they flabby, I'm sorry, they flabby. You know because your muscle will grow here, but they hang. But you know what I'm saying. But most women. When they 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 are they, toning the back up, they're toning the forearms up, the calves getting nice, the hamstring tying in the glute, the booty looking great, looking great. Hit me up down below. I got it for you. Now this is for my women. Now for you men, stick with your dosage, work it. But now for women, you still gotta work out and eat like you got some damn sense. Still gotta work out, but. What we do is we target our workout to be 85, 90% lower body because it's taxing on the core. We supplement it with the correct dosage of these hymns. So I said these hymns, SARMs. We support the overall activity and recovery with SR 9090. Oh, shit. I got clients be like, damn. Peaks like a subscriber with your muscle fitness women. Look, I don't want to give it out. I don't want to get my channel banned. I went from 10,000 subs to down to less than 1,000 because YouTube said, no, you're telling the truth. Pharmaceutical company said, stop that, Negro. They pulled my channel. Now I'm on my trip muscle fitness 3.0. See, the 3.0 means my third time around. Over 2 million views taken from me. Anyway, peace, likes, subscribe, and Trimble's Fitness. I'm going home to watch the Warrior game. Tomorrow morning, I'm back in the gymnasium. I got my games. I'm on my cut. You can get yours, too.